Well, the Empire buddy, this is Rampain, and welcome back to my Daedric Invasion campaign, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time, where surprisingly, we have a Mo like Ball back. He's returned to the mortal coil, and is debating if he's going to actually stay around for very long. Uh, I am going to be returning his little mini-game after he takes Fort Sunkeep and Sentinel. I want to make sure that he's like, okay, he's testing out this new vessel, making sure it's working properly, and he'll be like, okay, hey, I'll actually have the power... Uh, to raise the dead and uh, create vampires. Because, like, he's got to be thinking that, like, hey, Dagoth War just died. He was just killed in a similar fashion to himself, honestly. Um, and also, Shia Gorath is doing his own little thing. Uh, Mayor's Dagon's doing his little thing. It's like, he's, I get, he's like, I gotta get, at some point, a way to get some of my own power in Tamriel. I can't just keep failing endlessly, can I? I'm expecting him to die, but we'll see how he's going to die this time. But uh, you guys are going to be waiting here at least with Fort Sunkeep. I don't think I have... Well, maybe I do. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and see if we can get in here. We might not have enough ammo with the trebuchet. We might, we might not. But I'm going to try and push through here, kill you guys off. And then once we gather together with those other guys, I'll go for Sentinel once again. I need both trebuchets before I can assault that settlement because the walls are just so thick that I just can't do enough damage with just one of them. So I'll need that other one to possibly push them out. This is their air though too, so this might be well, uh, working well in our favor here. Let's see, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so there's two layers. That's going to be interesting. So I need to break a wall section down. And then I'll try and break it's just maybe the gates down up here, because that will be pretty easy to break. But I need you to make sure you can at least get inside. So let's have it so... Go about to here. Skirmishers, let's gather you guys together. Group you up. Go right there. Infantry, just kind of chill about here and wait. I will be using uh, Moleg Ball as about as aggressively as I was last time, since he has the same bodyguard. Um... And if he survives taking Sentinel and Sunkeep, I will make him a Vampire Lord once again, and he'll get his minigame back. If he doesn't, though, the minigame's dead. <laughs> no matter what. If Bowling Ball comes back again for a third time through a Man of the Hour, no. He's gonna be like, fuck this, that's not me, that's an imposter, I am done with this shit, I am sick of Tamriel, I'm sick of your mortal realms, and he's just not gonna deal with it. But... We'll at least have him try and do it right now, just because I find it funny that we got him back as a man of the hour. And I want to see if he actually can survive, get the minigame started up again, and maybe he won't die this time. Maybe. So you guys get a couple more shots in here. It's already at half, or half of its damage. Let's see, you guys aren't going back into the city center, though. So maybe I'll just be able to kill you all in this first layer and not have to actually send my trebuchet forward to break your gates down. That might be the case. We'll have to see. So let's see, this is at 59. I'm going to start getting you guys a little bit closer, seeing as how they don't have any guys on the walls anyways right now. Let's see, 68. And then these are just nomad swordsmen, so we should still just cut through them like a butter. Uh, some of their normal infantry, some of their spearmen. I can only see these three right now. Did the everybody else go back to the city center? I just can't see them for some reason. That might be the case. I'm not sure. Oh no, they're they're kind of hiding over there. I don't know why they thought I was going to go for that area. Uh, let's just... just just tank the shots. The thing's almost down. Come on, ninety. Just one more, or no, actually, technically I need two more good hits. 95, 99, and come on. See that last hit. Oh, come on, don't hit the ground. There we go. Okay, rush in, guys. Let's flood in. We'll try and just see if I can just kill them all out here. We might be able to. They might just stay around and fight us. See, so yeah, I just push through their archers. Let's slaughter these guys. And then maybe, since they don't have anybody... Oh, they've got, like... Eh, they do have somebody the on the wall. Very much in our favor. I can try. Take you guys, turn skirmish mode off, and then let's run you guys up here. Actually, you can't probably be there. I'll try and have you be up there. You go there. You guys go there. And then I'll have you guys just run up onto this other section right here. Because then I should be able to shoot down on them from here. Because they won't be able to walk up to us from this section. 
And then see how we do number wise. Number wise, 1 to 14 so far. Oh, I forgot. I said I was going to be using Molag Ball aggressively. Get your ass in there, man. I gotta remember, you're you're supposed to be aggressive. You're supposed to be up on the front lines along with everybody else. And we'll see if you'll survive. If anything at all, at least last time, you did do fairly well until Our you finally died. Is with us today. We have Let's captured see. the enemy's walls. Yeah, because I'll have you go run up here, kill these spearmen. Everybody else is just pushing through these guys here. They've already lost 26% of their forces. All of my skirmishers are getting onto the walls. Please just fight me out here. I don't want to have to bring my trebuchet in. That's going to take way too long to bring it inside and break down another section. Okay, you go for these spearmen. Well, everybody else is going to keep focusing on the blob right here. Which does not feel too good about what's going on right now. They've already lost a third of their army. I don't know where their general is. Actually, I'm assuming he's maybe right back here. Yeah, he is. He was kind of just blending in a little bit. Okay, so some of my skirmishers are opening up now. They should start breaking soon. Some of you guys are opening up. Some of you are not. What is causing some of you guys to break? Come on, cause a chain route. That'd be great if you guys would. Let's see, these guys are already dead. I'm gonna have more like Bol. Uh, actually, that's a really long way to walk around. I was gonna say I could have him walk around and try and flank, but that might take longer than I really want to. And actually, I can't go this way. I have to go around this entire way. But you guys seem to be breaking a little bit more, so let's just keep pushing up this way. Let's speed that up a little bit, as they've lost now two-thirds of their army. Keep pushing forward. Focus this bodyguard of theirs now. Kill him! Kill the prince! I'll hope this is... Because I don't know how many more family members they have. I've been killing a lot of clan forebearers. And, well, Clan of the Crown, I did enough damage to actually straight up kill them off. I'm hoping I could do the same with you guys, as that's the easiest way for me to continue getting this campaign to get closer to finishing up. If we can just continue to... Oh, there we go. They're running away. I'm just going to end the battle. They only lost 61 guys. That's not that bad. I didn't kill the prince. I just captured him, and he's going to be executed along with everybody else inside the city. Perfect. Makes it easier for us. Okay. So now there is Fort Sunkeep under our control. I'll wait until we get the other reinforcements that are coming down from uh, coming up from the south. They will then advance with us to Sentinel, so I have at least another trebuchet to break down the walls to guarantee some sort of entrance. And then from there, I'll probably keep trying to have these forces go to the east and claim more of Hammerfell's lands. I want to try and kill off the clan of forebearers with Molek Ball here. <gasps> Because right now, we are still making money, and then this area is this castle, so I think we'll be fine just sacking it. Um, but Sentinel, when I take it, I will have to exterminate it, I believe. Because you guys... Oh yeah, 335%. You guys are really happy. I could probably just, like, technically leave right now, but waiting on you guys to get up here. Because then we want to go for Sentinel. That's going to be about four turns total. But no, I'm going to hope that from here, we'll then be able to kind of push to the east push into uh, you guys. They don't actually have that many settlements. They've got Vakarth, they've got Tanath, uh, Abba's Landing, and Gilain. Where is their faction leader, though, is the question. Because I've killed a lot of family members. And, oh, here's another prince. So there's another prince. They might have another guy in there. So if they're going to have anything, it's probably in one of the cities. But they probably don't have many left if I... That's another one of their princes. Okay, okay. But yeah, no. So you guys will keep moving to the east once you take Sentinel. I'm still waiting on Dagoth Ur to actually kind of revolt because I'm going to have to exterminate the populace to make sure you guys are happy enough with me here. Because right now we are converting it. It's at 34% right now. But right now with you guys... Wrong button. Uh, they are currently at 90% for religious unrest. So uh, I've only got the one guy here. You're going to have to keep slowly converting them, and hopefully, eventually, they'll just be Good, happy with us. Uh, you guys merge you. together. Because to <sighs> I could have you guys go into Dagathur, all of you, and maybe it'd be enough. Nah, fear. still not enough. Okay, so all of you guys away. still just stand outside, because I don't want to lose more troops from the riots. So let's have this. I think it might actually rebel this turn, possibly, and then we can take it back. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Because I know I was using Mirrors Dagon. I was trying to get you guys away from Quadra the Temple. And I do have enough movement for that right now. Okay. 
Let's get you guys away from here. Because I want this, Captain Rolf. You're going to give me Cloud Roar Temple. And then I can just kind of make sure I hold up this area. While, until I'm prepared to try and kill off and go after Skyrim. Because Skyrim's still probably going to be one of the harder factions for us to get rid of, honestly. Just due to the fact that they've been able to build themselves up. Same thing with, like, Valenwood. If anything at all, I'm so happy that they've been losing so many generals. I don't have much infantry here. I really don't. Oh, God. Oh, we're just on top of the mountain. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, you guys, yeah, just kind of line up here. And I'll have you guys just open fire with flaming shot immediately. You guys turn skirmish mode off. And then advance on me, please. Ooh, I actually got a good hit already. Those are the cab units. Their general is... Or their captain is this Nord Plate Cavalry unit, at least. And then, yeah, you are sitting back. Because everybody else, you guys are supposed to be the frontline units just because I'm running low on uh, infantry in this force. And so I'm hoping that maybe you guys can possibly make up for that fact with the fact that you'll replenish. So, you guys, come on, open up with the... Uh, can you stop missing? Do they have any archers? I think they have just all infantry, don't they? If they have just infantry... Oh, here's one archer. Okay, there's another archer. They have two archers, and then a bunch of infantry. If they're not going to advance on me, honestly, let me use up my ammunition trying to kill them. We actually killed them. I was not expecting that. I thought you guys were just going to continue missing the entire fucking time. Well, now that he's dead, let's just start advancing forward. Because, honestly, at this point, you guys will break very easily. So let's just move up. Right here. Are they just withdrawing now? No, fight me! Fight me, you cowards! No, they're just adjusting so far. Okay, skirmishers as well move up. Everybody, go forward. And charge! Now that they have no captain, let's slaughter these fools. Do, 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 do. Get those close-up shots. Da, da, da. You guys are already shaking, and I haven't even killed anybody else in melee yet. Ah, this is going to be perfect for us. Go there, there, and there. There we go. Yeah, you guys will have help out with this unit right here. And let's hope I don't lose any of you guys. Because that's the whole point. I'm hoping that you guys will be... Like, you'll retain most of your guys long enough that I can just keep using you as five units that will just endlessly replenish. That's my hope. Might not be the way I exactly want it to go. Seeing as how it never tells me if I lose these guys. It only tells me if I lose my main general, which is kind of a shame. But I'll hope that you guys don't, because I need some way to keep pushing the enemy back until I actually have some money. Because we're making a lot now. We're making about 20,000 turns, so it's going to take us far less time to get out of the red. And then this campaign can truly shine. The Although it will feel weird they have lost not being in debt in this campaign anymore. <laughs> As I've been in debt for so fucking long in this campaign. Like, I've been in debt longer, like, more than half of this campaign. And it's just kind of funny that that's been the case. And I don't even get to use some sort of nice cheese with that, because uh, I know in um, Warhammer Total War there was, uh, there was a cheese you use with the Wood Elves. But I don't get to do something like that, use ridiculous fucking armies um, that just technically never take attrition. I can't do anything of the sort. I just have some very overpowered units. That's about the only thing I've really got going for me, is my units are overpowered. Man, this town guard archer is last time. Look how our cowardly foe runs. There you go. All civilized yeah. So you guys are at least out of the way. Now I can try and take... Um, oh my god, Cloudwood Temple? I can't remember the name of it. But I can get you guys out of here. Expel you back to Skyrim. I almost wonder if I should just have more like Ball... Not more like Ball. Why does my brain always go to him? Uh, maybe it's Dagon. I can probably have him maybe go into Skyrim. Start pushing in that way from down here. I could do that. I could try and do that. Because I was going to probably just destroy the stuff in um, Cloud Road Temple and uh, get a bunch of Mythic Dawn dudes. A crushing victory. Oh, I don't have enough movement. Fuck. Eh, okay. 
Yeah, because we could push up there. Again, I do need to try and just find out where their family members are. They don't seem to have a lot. That's like the one thing that's really helpful. Is it looks like they don't have that many family members anywhere. Like, usually you can kind of see them all over the place, but everybody's a captain. Almost every single... Oh, but here's one. That's a family member way up there. As I've seen two family members. I haven't seen... Uh, there's another family member. There's another family member. Okay, so I've seen four. Okay, they have more family members than I thought. I was kind of hoping they'd have a, only a few. But sadly not. Ooh, Winterhold's walls are still damaged. Ooh, that'll be useful for us. Okay, then that should be it for this turn because uh, you guys are still sieged. I can't give Shiagorath his uh, unit, so he can't do anything. And I've already done everything else with it, uh, with Molek Ball and with Mira's Dagon. Oh, can you not? Can you not, Halflingar? I need that land! Because I really do need to be able to push into them at Genha at some point. The oh, they're actually attacking me at Fort Dillage, too. Oh. And the game's crashing and four bears. Wonderful game. Ah, so you guys return to Moon March. Uh, not the best force, Argoni Hunter, Hunters, Militia. But thankfully, because this is a castle, uh, we should be able to easily hold this. So you guys can try in futility to attack this settlement. Uh, I wish I had Ballista Towers here, but sadly I don't. Even still, the Argonian unit quality is low enough that... With you guys trying to assault me, I can just go back to the city center way back here. And have you guys all line up. So what we'll do is... You guys need to turn fire to and scratch it off. Of it, so one of you will be back. And it's not going to work the way I want it to right now. Pathing's stupid. Okay, so let's just speed things up. We have time to set everything up anyways. So you guys can go there, 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 and then... Actually, I'll have you two on the side. No. The one guy in back, you're actually going to be up here. Just in case they bring somebody up onto the with ladders, they do have a pair of ladders. And then you guys go right about here. There we go. Yeah, you guys will hold that position. I'll have you guys all turn fire at will off for now. As I want to wait until they're upon us. And then I can take the most out of their forces. Especially with these two, because you guys can easily waste your ammo over the walls and not really hit many people. You guys, if someone brings up a ladder, which I think they're going to be doing... Uh, they look like they're bringing their ladder up. Yeah, no, they are. Okay, bring it up, guys. And then I will repel you from these walls. Here they come, men. Hold these walls for Meiru's Dagon. As they are assaulting us with their... Just peasants, honestly. They're just men with turtle shields. What can we... Uh, what do we have to fear of them? Uh, you guys, as soon as they get onto the walls, I'll have you start opening up onto them. Because right now, they've already lost 6% of their forces just from towers. And then as soon as they start marching inside, you two will start opening up on them. So come on, get onto the walls so I can shoot you. Come on. There we go. No. Shoot them, don't move there. Shoot them. Come on, guys, there you go. Unload into them. That should break them easily enough. Gates are at 96%. So you guys need to get just for ready to open up onto them as well. Come on, move your first son of a bitch in. Oh, we do have oil, I forgot about that. Yeah, start opening up on them from both sides. And they should start breaking, I'm assuming. Although I don't like how they didn't break that easily this time. Keep firing into them, don't forget. Uh, you also shoot down here. Shoot the guy directly in front of you. Don't stand there, shoot them. I'm going to try and move you back. Nope, back up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Ah, there we go. Captain's already dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, they've lost this now. Yeah, half of their army's already dead. Perfect. 18 men dead. 450 uh, slaughtered on their end. Perfect. So, you guys keep holding here for as long as you're able. And eventually, I'll send in some reinforcements down here, eventually. Because right now, what we were at, uh, 380? Negative 380? Or was it negative 340? I can't remember, but I know we're in about the negative 300,000 mark right now, where we're getting close. We've already gotten rid of about half of our debt. About half of it. So, 
It's only that's only taking us like what ten turns, five ten turns for that. Yeah, we can easily get out of this in twenty total. Especially since these turns have been going by a bit faster. I'm gonna try ransoming because I need extra money. Nope, did nothing. Uh, well, might as well try. Are they gonna have to see just again, or are they gonna give me uh, some time to breathe? If they send that larger army in, I may be screwed. Just maybe. And then Housey Lalu, hi. Uh, at least I've got a good army here this time, and that's a general, so I'll gladly fight this. Just don't siege me out, you assholes. Actually assault me. Uh, if they get, because there's only three turns until uh, it falls to me. So I'll give it two. The final turn, if they don't attack me, I'm going to attack them. Because I'm not going to just let my guys freely die there, so we'll see what we can do. And then, once it gets to the rebels, I think it did rebel. Yeah, I think Dagothor did rebel. It looks like it did, because I think that is supposed to be a rebel color right there. Yep, and that is a massive fucking hole. Okay, that is a big garrison. Technically, because of the way you guys are set up. Jesus, that is just all heavy ash spawn swordsmen. They have some ash spawn. Jesus. Okay, because right now I am still making about, yeah, 19,000 per turn. I could possibly... Let's see. I need to check something. We shall not relent, ever! Leave your mercy behind, men! We shall show them Because if you guys do a similar thing to what you did last time... I think I'm okay with assaulting this now. Because before this was a problem because of Dagoth War. But I think you guys can do this. So let's go through here. I'm going to hope the AI is going to be stupid. And they're going to try and have their guys bunched up on the city center again. They have three units of uh, mages. Or the game can crash. There. The game's not going to crash this time, hopefully. So now we can properly try and kill these guys off. Because again, they have just a bunch of infantry. And right now, let's see. Because I'm hoping what they're going to do is please... Do exactly what you did last time. So move everybody up here as close as we can get them to the enemy. So boom, boom, and then all of you guys. And then the trebuchet as well. And then what we want to do is, let's see, they are a little bit more spread out this time. Let's see, so where are all their skirmishers? I think that's you guys. Yeah, it's the guys with the shorter swords. And are you guys going to just group up, blob up onto the city center? Oh my god, they kind of are. <laughs> Why? This makes it so much easier for me. Okay, so you guys run up here. Try and just get over to these guys. I'll have my generals again kind of do the similar thing. Like, you guys go over here. Trebuchet, you'll try and walk up. And you guys are going to go basically here to shoot from across the little pit. Because, oh my god, you guys are doing the exact same thing. I love it. Perfect, because then I can just have, yeah, you guys focus on their ash spawn, because those are the guys I'm worried the most about. Let's see, it's pretty even right now, and there's two of them here. I thought they had three. Yeah, there's here, here's another one. Those are just heavy swordsmen. The heavy swords, if I remember correctly, you guys are actually armor piercing, so I might have to worry about that. But I'll start having some of you attack these guys, some of you attack these guys. Just engage all of their skirmishers in general. There you go. One of you try and push to this guy more. There you go. Now we have them all in melee combat with us. Okay. Generals, you guys. Keep pushing right up here. And then I'll have the scamps. You guys kind of go right to there. And you guys about here. Because they shouldn't have anybody else. I think it was just a three ash spawn. Yeah, that is. 11. Oh, shit. 11 to 2. Oh, boy. Let's hope this doesn't keep up, because right now that rate is slaughtering me. Oh god, 14 to 3 right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's hope you guys are going to help out. Set, uh, set you up there. Start just shooting people now. Because I need to start clearing these guys. 15 to 4. Okay, we are kind of pulling ahead a little bit more. A little bit. You guys... Uh, you do feel like you're losing. That's good. That's good. 6 to 16. Okay, that's better. 
Keep pushing in a little bit further in our favor. Eight to seven, eight to nine, there we go. Okay, my mages are doing more, uh, although we're running out of ammo quickly. Yes, please blob up on the city center. That is exactly what I want you to do. That is exactly what I want you to do, because the trebuchet, as soon as it gets up here, can just freely shoot you <laughs> in this giant blob. So yeah, scamps just about out of ammo. 20 to 17, so we've kind of closed the gap a little bit. Kind of still worried about how much damage you guys are doing. But thankfully, most of their guys are sitting on top of the city center, so I can still get a lot of kills with the trebuchet. I just find it ridiculous. I get to do this twice in a row. Like, this same battle, basically the same thing, and then start slaughtering them with my trebuchet again. Because they blobbed up on the city center. Like, I love this sometimes when the AI is this predictable, and it's just... I get to have the most efficient fight right now with my trebuchet. My trebuchet gets to actually do stuff, although you guys are kind of missing right now. You're not hitting as dead center as you were before, which kind of sucks. That's better. But no, yeah, keep that up until you're out of ammo, because I need you guys to try and kill as many of them as we can, because right now we're still kind of struggling here a little bit. These guys have done, done a lot of damage, 29 to 35. They send one guy over occasionally. Let's see, would you guys work better if you pick your own targets? Because yeah, I still want you to shoot over here, but I want you to try and maybe get it more in the center. Oh, that was a good one. So much so, it's still fucking up with the audio. Oh, you guys would be more aggressive if I do this. Okay. But no, that's working out a lot better. 32 to 49. Yeah, keep trying to hit more this front area here. You seem to be doing better now. You're not doing straight up lobs in the sky and just hitting them directly from below. Well, that was a good hit. Yeah, when the audio starts fucking up, that's when it's a good hit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because you guys here, you finish them off. I'm going to have you kind of go off to the side here, kind of hold there. My infantry, you guys are still doing well. I'm going to just try and have my trebuchet use up its ammunition before we start trying to surround the city center. Okay, so we've now at least killed about three-fourths of their forces. At this point, uh, I don't think we have enough time left that I'm going to have to start pushing forward more into you guys now. I don't like this, that my guys still have some ammo left, but I'll try it. So let's get my generals to move in first. Now you guys are getting some decent hits, but no. We need to start actually trying to kill them in melee. Otherwise, we're just not going to have enough time to win the battle. So let's have you guys... Okay, I keep having you fire. But right now... Oh. No! Damn it! Was that one of my supporting generals? I think it was. Okay, keep focusing on them, guys. Hopefully, because we still have this nice center blob that they have a nice open area too, they won't hit as many of my guys. Because they still need the trebuchet to help out. Because they've got... They've lost 80% of their forces. I lost half of mine, and I lost one of my generals here too. Which fucking sucks. Come on, keep hitting dead center. And we should win this. It's just a slog right now to kill them all. Now you guys are trying. 51 to 85. Got 15% of the forces we have to kill. 14. Come on, you guys can do this. I'm a little worried about this side. This side is less men, and they're a little bit lower stats. But they kind of do have... This is a bit easier to hit over here than it is over here for these guys. Come on, Trebuchet, get some good final hits. Before, you were getting like 1-2% to per hit. My Lord, Where are those shots? Oh, uh, 93. Please tell me I'm only going to lose one of my captain, my generals. There's only one. I'm going to have you cease fire now. Because that seems to be good. We've got this now. They've only got 5% of the forces left. we got plenty of time to just whittle them down in melee. Man, I hate that you get. I took so many casualties here. At least I'm going to make more money. I lost another one. Damn it. I lost two of you guys today. Well, I'll get Dagoth War back, which makes a decent amount of money. Son of a bitch. I lost a... No, oh, that's the enemy general. Okay, that's the enemy general. So I lost two of my own generals. Oh my god. Yeah, because... No, Sinzoth wasn't the one leading. Okay, let's see how he's shaking you. So I lost two guys. At least I'm going to make a little bit more money because of the guys I lost. And now, hopefully, with exterminating this populace, they'll be happy enough and they won't want to rebel again. Because I need this city. 
Oh, please don't destroy the mine when I exterminate it. Please don't. I need that mine. That mine makes so much money. I need it. If we can hold this city and with that mine, oh, that'll help us get out of the red so easily. I will love it. I just have to hope that they're actually going to be happy. Because we are converting them. Uh, I have to double check what percentage we're at right now. I think we're probably in somewhere in the 40s. I think over 50 is when they'll stop being so angry. So let's see. So, exterminate. And the mine is still there. Perfect. But Dagoth Ur is still pissed. Oh, I can lower the taxes. Good. Lost two of my generals for that. Ah. But we now actually have the mountain under our control. And we should be making about 22,000 per turn, roughly, without the money we got from uh, the actual conquest itself. But okay, so there we go. So there's that. Now... My lord. You guys. Let's my see. Do I have any free upkeep? I have the Mythic Dawn, but they. Yes. I don't have any Mythic Dawn over here. Because I need to get you guys Marching over to, to Sentinel. You'll be over there soon. We go no further One more day. turn for that. But So I'll have to remember that over here, we've got an army that's being besieged. I'll give them the two turns. You'll this is the air. Oh, please Watch assault us. Back. Please actually assault that. Don't siege me out. Please assault it. Then I can kill off one of their heirs. Ooh, that'll be nice. But I'll have you guys start attacking Cloud War Temple. Let's push through these guys quickly here. Because these guys are just some Town Guard swordsmen, some rebels. They have won Warriors of the Imperial Legion. But I should be able to easily push through you guys. And then... Uh, I just need more men before I can push into Skyrim here. Because right now, I forgot to check out the actual number we're at. Because we're making more money. We're making enough money. This is not going to take forever to get us out of the red. So let's see, let's wait just a little bit. Start deployment. And then I'm going to move my guys over here, as we always do. Trebuchet is right about here. And then skirmishers. Boom. And then all of my infantry. There we go. Uh, also, Mayor's Dagon, get over here. And who did I miss? Oh, I thought I moved you all. I thought I said all three of you. Okay, go there. We'll start breaking down these walls, because we need to break open this section and this section. Actually, I should just have one of you automatically start kind of hitting the back uh, area in the back. So you guys, some of you try and break open this wall, some of you start trying to break this one open. Okay, because there's one section of the walls. I'll have you guys now start pushing forward. And then hopefully you have already started doing a little bit of damage, so it shouldn't take too long to push this one. Because you guys, the rebels, I don't expect them to last very long. Let's get all of you guys in here. Go, go, go. There we go. No, don't go into the walls, fight me! Oh. I just basically headbutted a uh, trebuchet ball as it was flying through the sky. Alrighty then. But no. You guys, I'll have to go for this one. All of you, kill this guy. But so far, two to zip. Let's see, how's this doing? That's at 45% already. Scamps, I think I'm going to try and have you guys turn skirmish mode off. And I'm going to try and have you guys run up here onto this section so you can just shoot down onto some people. You guys, come on, push forward. You can push through into the actual other rebel unit. You don't have to sit in that same spot. C-77, so that's about to break soon. One, a six. Almost there. Why must you chant at me? I still find it funny that they gave the rebels the chant ability where they just yell at me. It's like, yes, we are rebels. Get away from this city. You're not going to take it as long as we can just yell at you. Yes, because that's going to accomplish so many things. Because they've already lost 9% uh, of their forces now at this rate. Let's see the in town guard, swordsmen. Can I actually get you guys into a position where you'll probably be able to hit them from inside there? So let's move you guys up here. Let's move you up. Fire at will. Flaming arrows. <laughs> Not flaming arrows. Flaming balls. Uh, you guys are almost all onto the walls. Then I can have you guys start shooting down from there. There you go. And let's have you target this rebel unit right here. They're already shaking. This guy should break pretty easily. Wavering, broken, perfect. Switch to the town Gosman. Because I'm going to just start pushing through here. I want them to all break so we can get them out of the city center. There you go. You guys. 
keep pushing in. A lot of them are breaking. These guys are just trying to hide. Maybe they won't notice us if we just hide in the corner. That's also just a great way to trap yourselves and get you killed off. Oh. Uh, careful there, guys. You are not helping. You are not helping. Stop that. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, because you guys go over here. Try and kill that unit, at least. Is this their captain? This is the fucking captain that tried to hide in the corner. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I just find that hilarious. He's like, hey, maybe if I go around the corner, they just won't notice me. And then I can just survive and get away scots free. Maybe. Uh, I'll try and actually have you guys hit things. But try and hit these guys back here. This is one of their only good units. Of course the first shot hits my own guys. So you guys try and deal with them. And then these guys are still trying to get rid of their town's guardsmen right here. The captain hasn't broken yet. He's wavering. There he goes. Our men have slain the enemy. Only half the enemy now, force remains. Now, we just need to get you. The warriors, and I'm just going to tell you to stop. That's not helping that much. Okay, scamps, I will move you guys forward right here. Start having you get in so you can actually help shoot them. Uh, you guys just go straight for the city center. Keep doing that. You guys will fight the only good unit they've got here. Uh, I should probably have you guys kind of flank a little bit more, though. Eh, go off to the side, right there, 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 and there. Just to speed up how fast they're dying. There you go. Yeah, because you guys just keep pushing forward. The rebels will continue to chant at me and accomplish nothing. So I will leave them be, as they are no consequence to me. You guys, though, line up about here. And then let's sh shoot these Warriors of Imperial Legion unit, as this is a decent guy, actually. So let's try and finish him off, make him break more easily. Can you hit them from there, or do you not have the best line of sight? I do not believe you have the best line of sight. Okay, let's run over here, then. Get up onto this wall section. Let's see, 1481. This guy's got about 30 left, and they have, like... Oh, they do have this full unit still in the city center, so start pushing through them. There we go, that guy now broke. Although, run away this way. I actually want you to go over here so we can flank this unit, as it's currently kind of sitting outside of the city center. There you go. Fully surround it. Nope, guys, fight here. If you can kind of push him out of the city center, he'll probably break. You just need to do that, and then this castle is now mine. I wish I could get blade recruitment from here. That'd be so cool if I could, but that'd also be a broken as hell if I was able to with the Daedra. They're already an overpowered faction as is. Um, although, I will find it funny if with Shigora, because I know I said that if I ever get, like, a 100, because what I do is I roll a d20, or a d6 first to see we get an infantry, an archer, or a cavalry unit, and if I, then after that, I roll a, uh, a d100 to see what unit I'm going to go select. Like, I'll just go down a list and, like, check off, okay, this is the 100th guy in the list. Um, and I, fi I will find it funny if I ever actually get a 100 in this campaign. I'm going to give myself a fancy unit. And I would love if we accidentally, uh, if we got the uh, Blades or maybe the Knights of the Nine unit. Because I know the Knights of the Nine unit exists in the code. I know they exist. I don't think you can recruit them right now. I know in the official patch there is the new, uh, the King and the... Oh god, what was it? They, they, I know they added in some new mercenary armies that actually have those. Um, and so they should be in, available in that one. Which actually, it looks like my next campaign is probably going to be in the Elder Scrolls Total War, trying to play through in the official. Which, I can't wait for that actually, because I... It's been a while since I went in, went along with the official. I, I like this campaign. I, I've kind of been finding this fun. But oh my god, is this not my normal shit? And... I don't like being in People debt forever. <laughs> like, hey, it's kind of cool say I'm playing as the Daedra and whatnot, but my god, is this a grindy campaign. It really is. Like, we've had some really good points, but then after a while, it started to kind of grind to a halt. Primarily after we killed the Empire, I'd kind of say. Because we're doing, like, my goal was to kill everybody. And we're doing well there. The uh, High Elves are dead. We still have to take out Valenwood, Valentine. Black Marsh, and then all of the uh, fucking Dark Elves. But now that we've got Dagoth Ur under our control, and now I'm only at... I am at negative 328,000. Oh my god, we're getting there. Slowly but surely we are. 
Because I'm hoping that you guys here will be able to easily take Sentinel, then push to the east and deal a bit with the clan of Forebears or clan... Is this fucking clan of Crown or Forebears? I always fucking forget. It is Forebears. Sorry. They're the ones that are still alive. Although, I'm probably going to lose the uh, Furtland Stronghold here. You have yeah, you guys actually have a good Skyrim. force there too. Fuck. Um, how many more turns do you have to siege me here? Five turns. Please actually assault me. Uh, don't just siege there. Don't don't just siege me out the entire time. That's not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna really help you, fuckers. Okay, you guys are gonna try here. This is a this is a castle, so we might be able to hold. I don't think we'll be able to, but we might. We might. Uh, it depends if we have one or two layers. I think we have just one. Because I can try and have my guys outside of the gate, and then just kind of... Our foes oh, appear God. to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yeah, this is... Oh, wait. Ooh. Maybe. Actually, because of this design. This is one of the designs I've been able to hold before as well. Okay, let's get you guys... Because we need to turn on every tower. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and have you there. Okay, it's not working the way I want it to. But I'm trying to turn on as many of these towers as possible, as there's a lot of them here. So you guys go do that. There we go. Okay, so I've got five towers active. They have a singular ram, which could burn. Also, stop firing. You're going to do nothing right now. Wait until they get inside. They've already lost 7% of their forces. Because as long as I can maybe just kind of just shoot them as they're walking in... One of you guys are just here. Just one of you at a time. Because I know that that will still work. I was hoping that I might be able to turn this tower on. But no, just adjust quickly. And then as soon as they walk in the gates, I have to shoot whoever walks in. And then it's right here. Town Guardian. Shoot! Shoot! Unload! Just keep firing into this area, everybody. Just don't stop firing. Because I know you guys are getting in melee, so you're going to kind of be a little idiotic. But just keep shooting. I just have to keep giving you the attack order. And then you'll keep shooting instead of trying to fight in melee. And we might be able to do something here. I know it's just a bit spammy, but no, just keep doing that. Oh, my captain's about to die. Kill a third of their army. Come on. If any of you guys break, I can do this. Come on. Yeah! Come on. Come on. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep firing, damn it. Keep firing. Pretty even on numbers right now. 46 to 43. This is... This is working. It just... You guys need to break. And they aren't breaking. Their morale is doing well. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, I think we're going to lose this. His soldiers still fight. In only half the enemy force remains. I need you guys to break. I need you to stop fighting me in melee. Like, this is so close. 56 to 56, practically. Oh, come on. I need you guys to stop fighting me in melee. As soon as you guys up there trying to capture the sea center. Wait, I thought he... Oh, I, I misheard him the first time. I thought he had already died. Oh my god, this is so fucking close. The game's glitching a little bit. Oh, here we go. Damn it. We did so fucking well. I killed two-thirds of their army. And they're just not breaking at this point. Damn it, I was so close. Almost held this. That did really well. I killed 70% of their forces before I finally broke. Like, you guys did well. You guys tried. You did. You did Meru's Dagon proud. You really did. Killed 1,100 guys. Look at this. This one guy got 681 fucking kills. You are the fucking MVP of this battle if we would have won it. Damn. If only my other guys would have been able to properly fire instead of that pseudo-firing. I maybe should have pulled them back a little bit further away. The one guy in the middle, he wasn't going to be able to do anything like that. But the other one, maybe. Ah, oh, you guys did so well. You tried. You, you really did. 
but that's fine. We, we're going to be coming back for Skyrim at some point. We are. It's just right now, I need to just hold whatever land I have. And we'll probably consolidate, I'd say, first. Once we have money. I'll consolidate around Hammerfell. Because Hammerfell is a rich region. I can try and build those areas up. Also, um, the um, Somerset Isles, try and build those areas up. Push into um, Skyrim from Hammerfell. And then from there, we can, hopefully by that time, we'll have some decent guys around Varnfell that they'll be pushing back against the... Stop fucking crashing! Uh, I didn't do as well that time. I refought the battle myself to get us back to this point because the game loves to keep crashing today on the forebears. I can't wait to kill them off because it's been crashing so frequently. Now, please, actually get through this time. I hope it will. It sh there we go. Hi, Valenwood. I uh, just stop. You're torturing these poor souls. They can't do anything here. They can't whatsoever. Like, I'm just gonna auto resolve that. There's no reason for me to fight that. I could have killed somebody, you assholes. No, you got no kills, of course. <sighs> okay, well, you guys are sieging me here again. Can you stop taking these fucking dungeons? <sighs> so that should be. Should have one more turn before I have to assault with. We must fight Hilalu. or forfeit. The enemy has lived. Because I can't let Hilalu just freely the starve that one army out. So I'll give them one more turn, them. I think. Because it's the turn before it would be uh, destroyed. Uh, I'm going to sally out and we're going to try and kill their heir. Because the undead are doing it too. You guys just continuously go for those areas. I hate that. To the walls. I, I hate the that they're also doing the same it. bullshit I do. Where they just siege out with whatever fours. Just siege it out entirely. Uh, and I guess for me, I just kind of forget to check all those to make sure that I can sally out in some regards. Because I honestly, te technically, the reason I take the forts is just to make sure that we can actually kind of get out of the red. Um, and if they kill the units off, sure it sucks, but kind of serves the same purpose. Okay, so we are now making 25,000 per turn. Perfect. Uh, death stocks the land, but get getters. Ah, damn it. Oh, you guys are now free upkeep here. Perfect. Okay. What is the sound right now? Nice. That's at 67. Okay. You can get a few more. We might have even more free upkeep. Okay. But now uh, you guys, uh, get the fuck out of my way. You're just in the way of my dudes. So let's get these guys. We are victors. Should be able to push forward with these guys. Yep. Start making your way up towards Sentinel. We'll be able to get there next turn for sure. <sighs> you guys here are sieged for another four turns. Please assault me, you assholes. And then right here, it is two turns. So I'll give them one more turn of sieging me out, see if they'll assault me. I'm hoping they will, because that'll be a better defense for us. Uh, Ghost We're Gate. Oh, I need reinforcements to Ghost Gate. And then how many of you guys do I need to keep in here? Can I keep just the one dude? No. Yes, my lord. Of course. Okay. Because then you guys you. go around and start taking these other spots. Because I do want to have more of that land. And if anything, some of these guys will be free upkeep soon. It's at 40%. Said. If we can get it up to... Oh, actually, I was destroyed. Never mind. Uh, I might have to bring those guys back, honestly. I mean, I hope we don't. Ah, oh, yeah, because you guys took that. I'm fine. Uh, although, moving, next time we will fight that as that's getting a little low. Ghost Gate we're aware of. Okay. So really it is just moving these guys forward and trying to get to Sentinel. Because right now, I'm going to leave Molag Ball in here. For <laughs> oh my god! I know he was a horrible character, but why am I always going to go back to him whenever I'm talking about people? No. Mayor's Dagon is going to stay in Cloudro Temple for now until we have money. I'm going to say that. Because right now we can just end this turn. There's nothing else really going on. He's <sighs> me again. I just keep losing more dudes. I hate that. I really hope Hilalu doesn't just siege me out. Come on. Actually try and fight me, Hilalu, over there. That's your heir. Fight me proper. At least the AI doesn't seem to take advantage of the forts all that often. Thank God. I'm so glad that they don't. Hilalu, are you going to attack me over there? Nope, they took White Run though. So I will have to assault them and try and kill their heir. They're not going to assault me at uh, Ghost Gate either right now. What about the undead? Are you guys going to finally assault me at that castle? 
Okay, so now we got a couple things prepared for us. So I need to assault Sentinel, which we should be able to get there. And then right now, you guys, I have to stand out here. Which, that's actually a pretty decent army for you guys. Okay, but we at least have all these things prepared for the next video. Because I think we'll probably try and lure you out. You guys get there. Now with the catapult, if I can at least bring you guys here. Honestly, I think you'll be fine to be able to take Sentinel yourself. We'll have that battle ready. How many more turns do they have here? Because I don't want them to siege me out here either. I'm probably going to try and push out of here. Because if you guys just siege me out and I lose the Shiagorath army through a siege, that's going to suck. So I think we'll probably try and sally out as well there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so many cities that I can upgrade. I have so many that I can. And there's nothing I can do. Which mission was that failed? Annex settlement. Yeah, I don't have the money or means to try and convince anybody to give me a city. <laughs> so that was not going to happen. But I think for now, I'm going to actually end this video here. We will be able to pick up where we left off, uh, just taking Sentinel. And also then trying to liberate and kill off some more uh, Hilalu generals. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways. Continue to support my channel in the description so you can check that out. This is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.